What is up, Paracois? Mark Chess here. I'll be doing a comparison between the LeBron 16 and the LeBron Soldier 12s. Since a lot of LeBron 16 colorways have been coming out, and even the Soldier 12s, they are still releasing several new colorways. I can just compare the LeBron 16s and the Soldier 12s because I haven't tried the new Ambassador this year. I'm still looking for a good colorway that I can test on. So hang in there. I'll just be comparing these two LeBron shoes. And before we begin, I would just like to remind you if you haven't joined the raffle yet, I will put the link in the description down below. For those of you who are not yet updated, I've added the Hyperdunk X Low in the prices for the raffle. Join now. Now let's get on to the comparison. For this comparison, I won't go into the details of each shoe. If you want to see the full performance review on both shoes, I'll put the link in this window. So let's start off with the uppers of the sneakers. The LeBron 16, as you know, has the battle knit material which is one of Nike's most premium uppers they are using right now. The battle knit will surely win against the mesh upper of the Soldier 12s. The Soldier 12s upper is still pretty good, very comfortable, a little bit of stretch depending on the, the colorway you have. Mine is the Agimat colorway. It has a suede toe box, gives you support and extra lockdown. While the battle knit for the LeBron 16s, it is much improved from the LeBron 15s. It is more structured, support is awesome. Although it's on the hotter side, I feel that it's not as hot as the LeBron 15. So for the upper, slight advantage over the LeBron 16. Both shoes have excellent lockdowns. They have a heel counter at the back. It has good Achilles pillows. It holds your foot down. The lateral support of both shoes is good to excellent. I would prefer more the lockdown on the LeBron 16s because the battle net doesn't stretch at all on all areas. So it really holds your foot down during lateral movements. Don't slip at all. Soldier 12s are pretty good too. It just depends on how you tighten the straps. The mesh upper has a slight stretch on it. So advantage again on the LeBron 16s. As for the implementation of the uppers, the mesh upper of the Soldier 12s is pretty good. Feels really premium. And of course, the LeBron 16s uppers the battle net. What's nice about the LeBron 16s, the tongue part is pretty well cushioned. So both have excellent materials on the uppers. Another thing that I like on both shoes is easy to put your foot in. LeBron 12s is more of a sock-like one booty upper. While the LeBron LeBron 16, as I mentioned, has a thong. You can easily open up the thong area and put your foot in and just tighten up the laces, then you're good to go. Now let's get on to the midsole cushion of the shoe. Both midsole on the shoes uses the phylon material. In the LeBron 16, it's a bit more harder phylon because it holds the max zoom air units. I think they purposely did that to add support on the max zoom air. While the Soldier 12s has two big zoom air units in the toe area, which is really thick, especially at the heel. As for the zoom airs of the Soldier 12s, it's really good. You can feel the bounce, but you have to break it in a bit before you can feel the full effect of the zoom airs. If you want extra comfort, extra impact protection, and bounciness, the Bronze 16 hands down. It's the best cushion setup in the market right now, if we're just talking about cushion. Both shoes feel a bit high off the ground, even the Soldier 12s are pretty high off the ground because both zoom bags on the Soldier 12s is pretty thick. While the LeBron 16s, as you know, is a max zoom air unit, you're high off the ground but it's not as high as what you felt on the LeBron 15s. And if you just have the LeBron 16 as your playing shoe, I don't think you'll feel the difference of the height. I think you'll adapt when you're just playing on one shoe. Over time, you won't notice it at all. As for the shape of the midsole cushion, I think the LeBron 16 is wider compared to the Soldier 12s. The Soldier 12s is a bit narrow, so wide footers, watch out for the Soldier 12s. Just go with the LeBron 16s. Both shoes have excellent traction, but for the LeBron 16s, you just have to break it in a bit more comparing to the Soldier 12s. The Soldier 12s right off the bat was so good. I think it's because of the XDR material in it. But after breaking in the LeBron 16s, it is pretty similar with the Soldier 12's traction. As for the sizing of both shoes for the LeBron 16s, I went down half a size. But with the Soldier 12s, I went through to size. So wide footers, avoid the Soldier 12s or go half a size up. But it's pretty long and narrow. The LeBron 16s, if you're a wide footer, go through to size. So the price point for both shoes, the LeBron 16s is 185 US dollars or 9,800 pesos. But the Soldier 12s is 7,400 pesos or 150. US dollars. So which shoe do I recommend? I think you won't go wrong on both shoes. Both are excellent performers. It just depends on your preference and your budget of course. If you have more budget, so 
go ahead and get the LeBron 16s but if your budget is just for the Soldier 12s it's still a good shoe but like I've said if you're a wide footer better sa LeBron 16s ka. As for people who's asking me would you notice the, the weight difference of both shoes? No because I know a lot of you are concerned with the LeBron 16s weight. The, the helmet bigat siya, it's heavy. For me I don't feel the weight at all because the fit of the shoe the LeBron 16s is very good. I think that matters on how you feel the shoe if it's heavy or not. So if the shoe fits well on you you won't feel the weight of the shoe well the soldier 12s is on the normal weight so you won't have a problem with that performance wise from both shoes the lebron 16 just have a slight advantage on the support and on the cushion side of the shoe everything else it's quite similar with the soldier 12s but for me my preference is the lebron 16s so guys that's it for my comparison between these two shoes i hope i helped you out and thank you again for watching this video. I appreciate it. This has been Mark Chess. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.